I'm a postdoctoral research associate at Manchester University, and I work in a building called the National Graphene Institute. Um, and at the Graphene Institute, I, as the name suggests, work with graphene, but I also work with a variety of different 2D materials. There's a, a lot of reasons why I love research. So first is the flexibility. So I, I get to pursue what I'm interested in. So I, it's not like a normal nine to five job where I come in and um, I had a, a list of certain things to do. It's it's very much I get to manage my own time. I can um, choose the different areas that I look at. And there's sort of a nice little thrill when um, when you discover something that nobody else in the world has perhaps realized before. My work really focuses on um, taking these individual 2D materials, so each of them have different properties, and I make stacks out of them, so a little bit like a sandwich, if you will. So I'll, I'll take one material, say, which is an insulator, another which is a um, conductor, and then you can get materials with more exotic properties, such as magnets or um, superconductors. And essentially what I do is I, I make stacks out of these materials, and. The aim is that we can um, we can tailor make the properties of um, of what we want. So we, we can choose our properties, and then we can we can make a device with these different sort of layered stacks to be able to realise that. When I found out I won the Scopus Award, um, yeah, I was thrilled. It was completely unexpected, completely out of the blue. Um, it's really great to be sort of recognised for having done some good work. It's um, it's good as well for all of the collaborators and the people that I've worked with. So it's it's really sort of, it's a great validation of the work that I've been doing and sort of confirmation that what I'm doing is sort of really worthwhile and um, worth, worth all of the time and the effort that I've spent really and the time and the effort of all of the, the people that I've worked with in this process. I would say I'm the most proud of my first paper. Um, that, the first paper is always sort of the one maybe that sticks with you. Um, and during my project, I I sort of, I made the devices myself. I did a lot of the measurements. I worked with the theorists, so I was involved in every single step of it. And sort of being able to take something that was just an idea and then bring it to life and be involved in every step of the process. I would say that was yeah my proudest achievement. My plan within the next couple of years is to to take the sort of the platform I built during my PhD and my postdoc, and um, to use it as a springboard to establish my own uh, research group.